Okay, hi everyone, welcome to another video. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different because we have been struggling to film for the past two days because we went scuba diving and also we've been traveling a lot. So today we're gonna to do like a voiceover style vlog. Okay, so at the end of the vlog, we are gonna do a little mini extra and we're gonna show you some of the most useful things that we bought with us when backpacking to give you some advice if you are also gonna be backpacking. So for our first day, we did a discover scuba dive as it was our first ever time going scuba diving. So the day started with us getting our kit on and then we hopped on a boat to our first destination. Here we were taught basic skills and we went for a short swim around. Then we went to our second destination where we dived again and this time we went a bit deeper, as deep as 12 meters and it was really beautiful. After diving, we came back to the beach to chill out and relax. So we have finished the diving, we've had some dinner. How did you find the diving? It was very fun, definitely. I'd recommend doing, we did two dives. Yeah. And that was definitely worthwhile because first dive you kind of still get into grips with it all. So, lots of fun. How did you find it? I thought it was amazing. I loved looking at all the fishes. It was great. My favourite part was there was like a, I don't know, my guy called it a little Christmas tree thing. And when you put your hands near it, it like, you know? Yeah, they like they go. Yeah, that was really cool. I, I kept like going off and being like, ah, ha, 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 looking to my guy, being like, that is funny, right? And he'd be like, this is the. They do that a lot. They're like, are you okay? I'll be like, you me. So for day number two, we got all packed up and we headed out to get the ferry at about 3 p.m. The staff were all wearing these big orange suits and they looked like traffic cones. Um, and that was funny to me. When we arrived in Koh Penyang, we got some dinner and added some fava beans, which is our new favourite topping to all of our meals. In the evening, we explored a little bit and we watched some football and then we came across an outdoor gym as well. enjoyed that different style of video and um, what we've been up to for the last two days. We are now going to show you some of the essentials that we took with us that we've found very helpful in our backpacks. So the first thing that you need is a good backpack. I would suggest getting something that's a little bit more pricey just so you know that it's secure, it's got a lot of straps that you can tighten everything with, especially around the waist so it sits on your hips and not on your back and uh, something with a lot of pockets. Um, that's always handy. Thing number two is packing cubes. These have been so handy. Um, it's just like little little bags that you can put everything in. You can have one for your tops, one for your trousers, one for your underwear, and it just keeps everything nice and divided. Some first aidy things. So the first one being bite cream. I personally didn't use this. Um, I wasn't really bitten, but Liv has used it a few times on bites and the wasp sting that she got. Another thing is travel wash. This is something that you can use when you just want to like freshen up your clothes a little bit and it's not like, or you don't want to pay for a big laundry load or there isn't any laundry services around and you're in a place for a few nights, just do a little bit of a wash, leave them out to dry and yeah, they're pretty much, pretty much clean. Mosquito repellent, bring a lot of this. We used this one from Wilco's and I think it was like £2.50 a can and it was, yeah, it's been really, really handy. Um, I haven't had to use this 100% deep one, but Liv has and it works a charm. Nothing bites you with it, so that's great. I would recommend bringing some plasters uh, just in case you don't know when you're gonna get cut or stand on a spiky sea urchin like I did. When we were out here we got some vitamins, just a multivitamin to keep up your general nutrients because you don't get a lot of variety with just rice and noodles all the time. If you are coming in the rainy season or just in general actually, wherever you go, bring a raincoat because especially at this time of year it rains a lot and you need one for sure. Liv bought her own water bottle with her. I didn't bring one, I just used the big plastic ones that you get in, like any shop. But there are a few places that offer like free top-ups or cheaper reduced ones from like big uh, 
containers of water. Um, so bring a water bottle with you or just get one to refill with um, so then you're not having to buy loads. I bought two pairs of headphones with me and thank goodness I did because my first pair broke so it meant that I had a backup pair. Plastic bags, you don't know how handy these are going to be until you really need them. You need them for dirty laundry, you need them for wet bikinis and swimsuits, you need them for shoes when they get wet and dirty, so bring some of those or just collect them when you're know, buying things from the shops. Something that a few people wouldn't think to bring are nail clippers and tweezers. These are something that you need. Um, and you don't necessarily think of to bring before you come out especially if you're here for a few months you're going to need them so don't forget those so when we were out here we got this bowl and some spoons and some forks and this has been so handy because it means that we can just get some bags of cereal and milk from the shop and we can just have breakfast in our rooms keep the cost down and if you have any leftover food or what have you from restaurants or cooking classes yeah, it comes in really, really handy. An obvious one maybe is sun hat and sun cream. I got this sun cream from a 7-Eleven in, I think it was Vietnam, and this is just amazing. You don't get burnt at all, and I'm somebody who gets really, really burnt, and this has just protected me so well. And again, hat, just keep your head covered because it will burn. Something to bring as well is a hoodie or a jumper, just the one maybe but you need it when it's really cold on buses or your aircon's too cold or if you're going to somewhere up in the mountains that is a little bit chillier than on the sea level ground. If you are coming out to Southeast Asia and you will be visiting Buddhist temples and there's Muslim countries and all of that, you need tops that cover your shoulders and you need long trousers as well, uh, especially something that goes past the knee at least, um, just to show respect and so you don't get kicked out of places. Um, something that I didn't bring with me was a nice dress to go out with because you go out more than you think you would um, and I didn't bring any with me. Liv bought two and she says that she wish you brought more. I wish I'd brought at least one because I'd just go in a top and shorts, you know, the stuff that I've been wearing in the day. Um, and yeah, sometimes you just want to feel a little bit more, I don't know, dolled up I guess. So bring a nice dress. So when you're out walking a lot, um, you will be mostly in trainers. So make sure that you have a comfortable pair of trainers with you. But if it's rainy and you don't want to be getting your shoes wet and you can't wear your flip flops because they're just going to be sliding everywhere, make sure you bring a pair of shoes that you don't mind getting wet and a bit disgusting really. We use our sandals, something that you can walk a long distance in and they will dry off quickly and you can just like wash them and it's not material that will soak up any like dirt or anything. Whilst we've been out here, we have collected soaps from places. Sounds a bit odd, but a lot of places they don't have soap in the bathrooms. So if you get to a place and there's a load of them, just take them all because they will be very, very handy. The same with loo roll because toilets out here, especially the public ones when you're out and about, they won't have any toilet roll, so bring some with you or some tissues. The same goes for wipes. You want to bring some antibacterial wipes with you just so you can like have a little disinfected toilets because some can be a little bit grim. And also in these public toilets they don't have either water that work, like runs or they don't have any hand soap, so bring some hand sanitizer with you. Um, and you will use it a lot, believe me. Another thing quickly is that in Southeast Asia, they don't really use tampons. So if you're somebody who does use them, bring a load with you because either you won't find them out here or they are very expensive. So beware of that. If you are on public transport or you're in a dorm and it's noisy and people have got the lights on and everything, you wanna have um, an eye mask and earplugs. We found that the silicone uh, earplugs are better than the foam ones. Um, so yeah, we just got those from Boots and they've been great. If you are again on public transport and you want to have a sleep, you've got your eye mask, you've got your earplugs, travel pillow as well.
you're gonna need one of those so you don't get a stiff neck. For an adapter, this is the one that we use. I got this on Amazon, it wasn't very much, I will put the link below, but it means that it's got four things for USB um, ports and one for just a normal plug from any country, I guess. Um, in Malaysia, they use the three pin socket one, the same as the UK, and in the rest of Southeast Asia, they use the two flat pin one, um, so this is great because it's got all of them in one. A notebook and pen, that sounds a bit of an odd one, but if you're planning out your day, it's always handy just to write it down if you don't want to be planning it on your phone all the time. But definitely bring a pen because you're going to need it to fill out forms for going across immigration and you, you, there's a lot of things to sign, so bring a pen with you for sure. Another thing is this water bag that you can pop your phone in to get some underwater clips. This is like the best thing I think I've ever bought. It was 20 ringgit in Malaysia and we've used it so many times. It's great when it works. Um, obviously for the diving, it didn't work as well when it's really, really deep underwater, but for uh, snorkeling, it was great. Bring also a small bag with you because when you're out and about, you don't want to have like a big rucksack or anything, but you're going to need something to put your tissues in, your hand sanitizer, your phone, and your room key, everything, just like little bits and bobs. So everything that you bring with you, you've got to make sure that you don't mind getting a little bit damaged and ruined because you're out here for a very long time, things are going to get dirty, things are going to get ruined, it's inevitable. So make sure the things that you bring, you're okay with that. <laughs> Okay, so that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it very informative. Um, if there's anything that you think that we've forgotten, leave it in the comments below um, and it would just help other people out. And we'll see you soon. Bye! Drunk Lizzie at her finest. <laughs> Walk straight or else you get points on your license. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so wrinkly. <laughs>